Hi, Kenneth. Do you run your treasury as a cost or as a profit center? Well, it's neither. It's a staff function with a clear goal to support the core business and uh, should be measured from value added in relation to cost. How do you provide tangible value? Well, we have a clear goal to generate value from both financial exposures and financial flows, i.e. to generate results above set benchmark and norms. Are you speculating on uh, future rates? We don't see this as speculative at all. Uh, we have a clear mandate to deviate from norm, but we must always be between zero and 100%. So from our perspective, it's dynamic risk hedging. So how are you trading? Well, we trade to support the long-term perspective, because we have to realize with regard to short-term trading, we don't have an edge. We don't have large two-way flows. We cannot pay salaries to attract and retain really good uh, traders and we are not as close to the markets as most financial institutions. But with regard to the long term perspective, we do have an edge. How? Well, most financial uh, participants are open ended, i.e. they can't be wrong in the short term because then they either lose the jobs or money under management. But we, corporates, we can suffer negative market valuation on our hedges, just because they are just that, hedges. Well, how do you set your benchmarks? Well, we set benchmark to be uh, optimal for the whole business cycle. Uh, and that gives uh, opportunity to either increase or decrease the length of hedges when prices are favorable. How is the decision process regarding benchmarks? Well, Treasury has the mandate to, to propose changes, but it's really up to the top management and the board to decide. So, uh, why are you trading short term? Well, short term uh, we trade because otherwise it's very hard for Treasury to spot uh, long term value. Uh, I think it's almost impossible if you are not active on a daily basis on the financial markets. Okay, thank you. Kenneth Nyboom, Group Treasurer at Coop, Denmark.